The flipped classroom, the full picture, is not about watching videos as homework. It's a bigger, fuller cycle of learning where there's personal connections with the content and also with the larger learning community. And the tasks become engaging, relevant, authentic. There are working with peers, using technology, project-based learning, real-world connections, physical movements, student choice, and using, using visuals are just some of them. It has its foundations in an experiential cycle of learning where it's tweaked to include some modern-day technology such as video, lectures, internet resources, and web 2.0 tools. It begins with an experiential activity such as a game or an experiment or community project or the arts. And then it leads to concept exploration. This is known as the what through video lectures, audio lectures, websites, and or online chats. These materials, these, these videos and online resources support and strengthen the learning. This is a little different in that it comes, it supports rather than drives the le learning and the learners control how and when these materials are accessed and viewed. There are lots and lots of online free resources for educators to use, Khan Academy, YouTube, iTunes University, TED Talks. Our educators can create their own lectures via some lecture capture tools. Then comes meaning making the, from the experiences. This is known as the so what, and it can occur through blogging, video reflection, voice reflections, photo essays. And then finally, it ends with how will the learning be demonstrated and applied. This is the now what to an audience. Students, students show what they've learned and how they're going to apply what they've learned to other areas of their life. And given that it's a cycle, this should lead to another learning cycle.